So I'm back over here at the hill. Took the tracks last time, I think that was a few days ago. We got no sun today. It's gonna cloud up. It's actually supposed to be raining here, like right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna boogie down the trail. Try to catch some birds and some critters. Boogie on back. Go home and do some guitar work. It's pretty much my exciting day. <laughs> Gloomy and gloomy. It's gonna be a freaking last winter out here. Sky just full of low definition clouds. No ducks, no nothing. It is what, October 16th, I think? I'd say that pretty much the fall peak already came and went. We're on like the downside of it now. But it got here a lot quicker than it did last year. So I kind of biffed it on the old Fall of New England Special 2019. <laughs> Oops. I had every intention of making one. I just sort of wasn't expecting it to be so soon. I'm walking through puddles today. So I guess this kind of is my fall in New England special. <laughs> Great. Good job, dumbass. Gonna be shit exposure so I get any fucking pictures today, I'll tell you that. Shit exposure. You know, catch lights and the eyes and those big shiny highlights going around the critters. Just sort of flat image. Classic shopping bag, man. That fire's worth 10 cents. You rock. It's New England, man. There's fucking rocks everywhere. Come on. How the fuck is there no rocks? There's a rock. Cool rocks. There's a big rock. Yeah, that's just shit. Hopefully this works. <sighs> Didn't do it. They weren't big enough. I wanted a bigger splash. Pretty freaking cloudy. Yep, fall in New England. Here you go. <laughs> now, this is neat through here, though. No longer inundated. Well, it's still kind of flooded out down there. Ducks. Just scared the shit out of them. There they go. Bye, ducks. Fuckers. Like I said, it's not a very good photography day anyway. It's way too fucking gloomy out here. Especially for fucking big ass fucking telephoto lenses. Need some light to get down that barrel. Oh, look. And yeah, mallards anyway. Fuck mallards. Yeah, mallards are cool. All ducks are cool. A little flooded now. Big ass puddle up here though. Uh, I don't think this is going too much further here. Pretty damn inundated, if you know what I mean. I don't feel like getting my shoes wet today. I got my good hikers on. Let's backtrack a little bit. There's a nice little scenic spot I saw over here. 
That's a nice look at that. I had to put my orange flare up in the tree there. I just heard shotguns over in the woods, so somebody's over there hunting. Just the price I pay. I got my red checker down, I got my orange flash in the tree. Now I just have to hope to not get shot. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot of activity at all out here. Not since those ducks left. Just been sitting here chilling out, hanging out with my backpack. <laughs> got a new job I'm starting tomorrow. I'm all excited about it. It's not a photography job, but I kind of came to the conclusion that I love photography and I don't want to try to pay the rent doing it. <laughs> I love it as a side gig. I like making a few bucks off it, don't get me wrong. I mean, if I could sell prints and pay the rent, that'd be fucking awesome. I need regular money. So I got I picked up a nice job, 17 bucks an hour, part time. Can't beat that. And I'm not scrubbing fucking toilets, woohoo! That's the best part. Not that I minded scrubbing toilets and wiping up puke and piss and shit and <laughs> all that gross stuff, but I mean, it was money. It was close money. It was about the best money I was going to find in town. Well, good things come to an end, I guess, because that, that fucking job went downhill quick. I was, like I said, in the other vlog. Actually, maybe I didn't say it in the other vlog, but I was so stressed out I had to get the fuck out of there. It was fucking killing me. It really was. It was actually one of the better things that ever happened to me because I went out. I started finding photographer jobs. I had a gig doing high school sports teams for yearbooks, covering the games, doing team photos, and it, it didn't pay much at all. It was like 50 bucks a game, but, let's see, somebody's shooting. It turned into like a day and a half's worth of work just to get your assignments done. So you're only gonna get about three done a fucking week. So that's like 150 bucks. The other thing I didn't like is the first assignment I went to was rescheduled without anyone telling me. So I drove like 50 miles and 50 miles back just to find out that I was only getting paid for gas mileage after the first 20. Second assignment I did went real well. Girls volleyball team. Third assignment I went to, canceled. And the fourth assignment I went to, I got sent to South Windsor. The game was in summers. <laughs> it was two games, actually. And they were both going on at the same time, the junior varsity and the varsity <laughs> soccer teams. So I was like, oh, that's great. I thought I was doing pretty good with them, the assignments I did get done. Apparently, I wasn't giving them enough photos, even after a day and a half's worth, of, literally a day and a half's worth of work. Shoot about 900 photos per game. I mean, it's high school sports, I mean, how much more can you get, you know? But 900 shots per game is usually two games, so you're coming home with like 1,800 photos you gotta go through. So you gotta go through, you gotta take out the blurry ones, you gotta would take out the uninteresting one, clean it up so it'll make it look interesting. But he's telling me he needs like 100 plus per game. I was giving him like 30 to 60. Yeah, for 50 bucks a game. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous two full days worth of work for 50 bucks no but i got this new job i'm really happy about it i just went down to check it out i figured it was going to be you know they're going to tell me like you know 11 12 dollars an hour for this bullshit it's just a small shop uh, mechanical assembly i guess they do like liquid nitrogen canisters dispensers small shop family owned thing 17 an hour for a probationary period doing mechanical stuff, I ain't scrubbing toilets. It's just assembly and shit like that. Maybe some packaging, maybe running a lathe or something here and there. All shit I can do, no problem. Anything I'm not happy about is the hours, but it, it's, it's kind of not bad because it's like 11.30 to 4.30 until winter. I mean, I'll be getting out before the sun sets, so it kind of works out. Kind of cuts my morning short, but well, figured I could do 8 to 10.30. Get a good two hours, two and a half hours in on guitar work in the mornings. By the time I get out, it's only 4.30. Still got a little bit of time to still get some work done before I'm dead tired. I think it'll work out good. I'm thinking positive. I really am. Seem like real nice people who own the place, too. Nice small shop. It's not a big factory, you know, mass production factory or nothing like that. Just, I look like they really, from what I saw, they didn't have more than, like, maybe six or seven people even working there. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to it. I think it's going to really help me out, turn my life around here, help me get a good vehicle because my last job, there was just no way I was going to be able to afford another vehicle doing that job. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stand being there for more than four hours as it was. <laughs> well, it's like getting darker out here. The wind cut down a little bit though. I haven't felt no raindrops or nothing, but I didn't see nothing on the water. It's pretty still. 
fucking wearing my back brace today because I just got the other side of my back healed up where I fell in the hole a couple vlogs ago. <laughs> now my other side's still all fucked up here. <laughs> I think it was too much sitting around. I've been at the fucking desk so much. It's all I've been doing for like the past month and a half is just sitting in front of my desk just looking for jobs, looking for work. So I pretty much come to the conclusion that I don't want to be a full-time photographer. I really don't. It's too much of a hassle. It's almost as bad as trying to pay your rent being a full-time freaking musician. It's like, sounds like fun on paper. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a lot of work. It's too much work. You know what's big with me? This is the way I see things. This is what I call the work to payment ratio. Like, take this last job I had, for example. High school sports. $50 per game plus mileage after 20 miles. If you do three assignments a week, you can make 150 bucks. But that includes driving yourself to these assignments, the assignment actually happening, proofing your photos, taking out all the crap and blurry ones, doing a quick edit, making sure you have 100 plus, and uploading them to the company. That's like a lot of work for 50 bucks. I don't care who you are. And you're not going to pay your rent. Well, I ain't going to pay mine anyways. Not with that. Two days worth of work, three times a week, that's six days a week you're working for 150 bucks for six days of work. Uh -uh. Work to payment ratio. Mm -mm. Too much work, not enough payment. Like my guitar repair business. I pretty much do that right out of my kitchen. People come to me, they hand me the guitars, I look it over, tell them what's wrong, tell them how much it's going to cost to fix it, get money if I need to order parts, do that right from my phone in my kitchen, and then I just got to do the work. So, I mean, the work to payment ratio there is about kind of even, I would say. My online store, I mean, if that started taking off, that would be ideal, but you got to figure work to payment ratio for that. I already kind of did the work. I just need the payment now to make money for work that I've already did. That's big. That's real big right there. You don't even have to do any more work. You're just getting paid for what you already did. As to both being a professional photographer where you're getting paid for the money that you're about to go make or the job you're about to do. Work to payment ratio. <laughs> the less work you have to do for the most amount of payment. Even if it ev evens out, it's pretty good, but you definitely want more payment for less work. It's common sense, I guess, right? But... Yeah, it's getting real dark. <laughs> real dark, real fast. Not really the greatest fall special, I guess. <laughs> the post-fall special. Ah, shit. Yeah, it's getting kind of chilly out here. People shooting. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to finish up my cigarette here and I'm going to head back down the trail. Nothing going on. I was hoping to get some little birds or something at least, but a whole lot of nothing. No photos. There's some cool trails, I guess. I mean, it's just too dark to get anything with the fucking ADD now, anyways. The 300 mil. Yep, it's definitely going to be that time of year in New England. The big season, winter. <laughs> Gloom and cold and snow and freezing temperatures and misery and disgustingness. I hate winter. <laughs> I really do. Love New England, but I hate winter. And I do believe it's starting to rain now. So we're getting out of the woods just in time. So I think that's going to be about it. So let me switch hands so I can do it right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me I suck. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Later. Oh! They're not shooting at me at least. <laughs> Hope not. I, that's running pretty good now. What the fuck are they shooting at? I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Probably just shooting out of frustration. <laughs>